If you want to attract your soulmate, you're looking for that perfect love or a relationship, I'm going to give you five proven ways that you can do right now that are going to help you attract exactly who you're looking for. My name is Karen Medeiros and I have helped thousands transform their visions, their dreams into reality. So let's get started. Okay, so to manifest whatever you want, you have to become that person. <clears throat> so if we're gonna talk about wanting to find your true love, your soulmate, how are you going to act when that comes? You have to become her, you have to become him. You have to become the person that you want to be. The, the universe frequency does not know what's real and what's fake. Like our consciousness doesn't know if it's real or if it's fake. So our thoughts that we think, the way that we talk to ourselves, if they are negative, that's why negative comes back to us because it doesn't know that it's real. It just assumes whatever it hears that that's what it is. So when we talk to ourselves positive, we do things positive, we have that positive energy that goes out and the positive always comes back, right? So you have to become the person of who you want to be before it actually comes. And that's the mistake that most people make. Most people will say, I will become that person. I will start doing those things when, 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 when. And then they're like, it's never coming. I've been waiting forever. It's not here. You have to become the person. So I'm gonna give you five different things that you can start doing now to start becoming that person, to start bringing in that love. All right, number one, you're going to make room for that person. So you're gonna clean out a drawer or and you're going to clean out half of your closet because if you don't make room for them, then how are they going to appear, right? So clean out half of your closet. Now's probably a good time to purge it, go through it and leave a quarter, half, whatever, whatever space you would give to your partner, leave that space, make sure that there's hangers. So when they're, when they show up, um, that they have room to hang all of their clothes. And that would be their, that would be their space. Do the same thing with a drawer, clean out a drawer, right? Um, clean out a drawer and it's empty. And that will be the drawer, that will be their drawer. Number two, grab a toothbrush. Go buy an extra toothbrush, put it in where your toothbrush is. So they're both hanging out together. And so every time you go to brush your teeth, you're gonna see their toothbrush. And you're gonna feel that feeling of like, oh my God, their toothbrush is here, which means they're always here, they're always with me. And you're gonna feel that, right? Having, doing these, these, you know, these little tasks are going to help you in the feeling. And once you feel those feelings, you put those feelings out, those feelings come back, okay? Number three, um, date night outfits. So whether you're a guy, whether you're a girl, doesn't matter. I want you to pick out two date night outfits. So go into your closet, pick out what you would wear. If somebody called you up today and said, hey, we're going on a date, what would you wear? If you don't have anything in your closet, go buy an outfit. Or you wanna get excited even more, go buy an outfit that you could wear. You, you, you need to be ready. Instead of waiting for it to appear and then being like, oh, okay, now I gotta get ready. No. If you're being the person who you, if you're becoming her or becoming him, then you've got to be ready. <coughs> I would take one of those date night outfits and I would hang them up somewhere. Hang it up somewhere where you can always see it. So again, that feeling is being attached of like, I can't wait to wear that. Not when am I going to wear that? You've got to change that language, which, I could do 16 other videos on changing your language. Um, 
but change your language of like always, you know, when you walk by, I can't wait until I get to wear this out on a date. I can't wait till I get to wear this out on a date. Um, that was number three. Number four, sleep on one side of the bed. So if there's two of you sleeping in a bed, what is your side? Start sleeping on whatever side of that bed. Make your side table, night table or whatever yours. And if you have something on the other night table, possibly clear it off. Like what would that, what would your, your, your partner, what do you think they would put there? Or leave it blank, leave it blank, leave it open. So when they do arrive, they have space to put their stuff there and start sleeping on one side of the bed. If you're sleeping, scrawling, sprawling in the middle of the bed, there's no room, right? There's no room for them to come in. So sleep on just one side of the bed. And the last one, which is the most important and has completely changed my life over, over the last decade is gratitude. So I want you to start writing in a gratitude journal. This should, this should always be number one. It is the number one thing that I do every single day. It is the number one thing um, and the reason why it completely transformed my life. So I want you to write in a gratitude journal. If you don't have a gratitude journal, you can go grab a notebook from the dollar store and it can be blank. But what I want you to start writing every single day is I am so grateful now that, and then I want you to fill in that spot. So I am so grateful now that I'm living with the love of my life. I am so grateful now that I am living with my soulmate. I'm, um, I'm, I'm so grateful now that it's very important that you put now that, and that you write that in the present tense. So write, I would write it out three different times, <coughs> sorry, three different ways, and then see which one aligns with you more. So which one feels better? And then I want you to start writing that every single day. If you don't write in a gratitude journal, um, now is the time to start. So I have a gratitude journal. It's, um, it's on Amazon. You can grab it on Amazon. Um, I think the link is below in the description. Go ahead and grab it. It's a prompted gratitude journal. The reason why I like gratitude journals that are prompted is because it prompts you because most people, if you haven't really um, practiced gratitude, you're not, you're not quite sure what to write. It, do I write it in the present tense? Do I write it in the past tense? Am I asking for it? Um, and so that's why I love that it's prompted. So every morning I write five things that I am currently grateful for. So I am so grateful for my healthy body. It's something that I write every single day. I am so I'm grateful for, and then it's um, something that had happened like the day before is what I write the next morning of what I am so grateful for. I am so grateful um, uh, that I had a, um, great dinner with one of my friends. Like just, you'll be able to figure out what you're, you'll find things to be grateful for. I write five every single day. And then I write five manifesting desires. So I am so grateful now that, and then, you know, I'm living with the love of my life. Um, I write five of those different things and I write those same five things, my manifesting desires every day. They don't change until they come true. And when I'm writing it, as you're writing it, you're feeling it, right? Feeling and your emotion is so important. You can't just do the five things that I just told you to do, have no emotion, no connection to it, and be like, this is bullshit. Because that energy is gonna go out, and guess what? That energy is gonna come right back to you. So if you really wanna attract your soulmate, you really wanna attract the love of your life, a loving relationship, really give yourself a shot, try these five things, save this video, subscribe to me, um, and make sure that you connect with me on social media once 
you tell me that you have found your, you know, your soulmate, the love of your life, a new boyfriend, new girlfriend, whatever it is, because it's these things, you started to do these things and your energy started to change. Once that changes, you're going to have the biggest shift in your life. And I can't wait to hear all about it.